Now, those of you that don't know, my name is Sunny Love and I teach existing female entrepreneurs and new female entrepreneurs how to create a profitable online business. Now, not only that, we actually help you create a business that gives you plenty of freedom and plenty of choice. And I think these days that's what we want more than anything else. You know, circumstances have certainly changed over this past year. And now many of us are searching for something that will give us more independence um, from the sort of normal nine to five job that we've had in the past. Today, I am talking to Geraldine. And I'm going to tell you why, why I'm so excited because Geraldine is a podiatrist by trade, trained podiatrist, but she's also known as the foot fairy <laughs> of all things. And I am so excited about finding out what that actually means. So I understand from just looking at your website there, Geraldine, um, that um, you can actually read feet. But before we kind of get into that whole thing, welcome and hello to tonight's live spotlight. Hello, thank you very much for having me. It's lovely of you. Yeah, you're more than welcome, more welcome. And that sounds like a bit of a northern accent there. Where are you actually from? Um, as if you couldn't tell, West Yorkshire. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Very Thank nice. You. So we've so we've got the northerner and the southerner. <laughs> I, I hate to admit it, I'll whisper it. I'm from Essex. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I know. So Geraldine, our first question has got to be: Who is Geraldine? <sighs> mm, Geraldine is well. I'm 42. I'm a single parent to three girls. I am driven insane by, well, they're all virtually teenagers, so it's just absolutely bonkers in my house. Um, I work very hard um, in my own uh, podiatry practice, as you know. Um, so I do lots of lovely people's feet and all the conventional sort of chiropody side of things, musculoskeletal injuries. And during the first lockdown, when we decided to close our premises for that time, I discovered Solstry as well. Okay, so you've led us right. Well, first of all, let me just tap into this. How old are your girls? I have 13-year-old twins and an 11-year-old. <gasps> twins as well. Oh my word. And you do you do that so you do your work at the clinic and you've got you've actually got two businesses I know about. Mm -hmm. um, it also says on your website that you cry at sad films. I'm terrible. Right. Name, name me one of the sad films that you've cried at. Do you remember Russell, Russell Crowe's Beautiful Mind? I do, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh don't. You'll get us both going. <laughs> I love that film. It's, yeah, wonderful. Um, yeah, it was a, that was a tearjerker. <laughs> Excellent. And I can see that you're also doing yoga as well. Yeah, my lovely friend, um, when um, when lockdown first occurred, she took everything on Zoom. So four nights a week, I was able to to do yoga for a whole 12 weeks. It was oh, brilliant. Bliss, <laughs> bliss. Yes. I mean, I'm I'm actually a yoga teacher, but I don't teach. <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm qualified to teach it, but I don't. Um, yeah. Now I can see that we've got some people online, whoever you are. Please actually say who you are. Oh, I see. I see. Sass, it's you. How lovely to see you. Oh, brilliant. I know that there's some more there, but I can't actually see who they are. So, Sass, today, if you've got any questions, you'll find out a bit more about it in a minute. But, Sass, if you've got any questions, put them down below. This is a really opp great opportunity for you to find out a little bit more about feet, but not in the way that you would expect. Because one of the things that you said there, Geraldine, is that you said something about soul what's that mm -hmm. so basically solstry is the foot version of palmistry um it's not a future predictor it discovers who you have been and who you are and how that can help you to become who you want to be right right and 
Now, the one thing that uh, Geraldine did the other day is she said to me, how about I do a reading of your feet? So I had to send Geraldine a picture of my <laughs> feet and they're pretty manky at the moment in terms of I haven't got any nail polish on or anything, but I did, I sent it to you. And so you've done a little reading for me, haven't you? Yes, yes, um, that you get so much information. I had to sort of like channel it down. I was so excited. I stayed up till two o'clock doing, doing your reading because it was just, it was brilliant. Thank you. Thank you for trusting me. Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> so go on, I'm, I'm way, way too curious not to ask you. Just give us a little snippet of what came out there. Okie doke, right. I've got so much, I don't know which bits to pick. Um, okay, so this is, a, this is a cute one. The little toes sit on, on the side. So instead of being straight down, they sit on their side, which means that you're unconventional and a little bit rebellious, more so in the past, um, with a my way or the highway attitude that's actually very true <laughs> i have calmed it down a bit <laughs> that's what your feet say <laughs> oh that's brilliant that's excellent go on then so, go on tell us more another one another one right okay um so you have slender feet um now slender feet indicate that you appreciate beauty so, for example, you like sunsets mm -hmm. um, and you're great at delegating and you love being pampered. Yep, that's all true. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes. OK. And one of the very specific to you is the left heel on the photograph was flushed red and that indicates excitement. Now, the left foot is the present. The right foot indicates the past in most cases. Um, so the left heel flushed red indicates excitement towards um, what you are doing now and how you are going to move it forwards. So in particular, the, the, with it being in the centre, that indicates the what you're doing for work. So all your groups, your, uh, your business and all that sort of thing, which again, it's quite good because that's what you're doing <laughs> yeah that's right yeah and because because I've I guess I guess part of that excitement is that I've really kind of found found my focus yeah. and I think that this is what a lot of women um struggle with with sometimes and actually you even said it earlier is that you're like the cocker spaniel and and you'll be darting around looking at all these different things and yeah. you know what we often do as female entrepreneurs is we'll we'll look at all of these different opportunities and we'll settle on on perhaps one or two ideas and then we'll find mm. out a little way down the line that they're not quite right and that funnily enough is what's happened to me recently is i was going down a certain path um, I was doing something weirdly enough within health and wellness and whilst I do love that side of things something wasn't quite clicking for me and I think that that you yourself have probably found this as well is that things when things are not right they don't actually click and it feels like it's a struggle an uphill struggle have you found that with things that you've been interested in and involved in definitely um I think you st you begin things with that enthusiasm and, and and passion, and like you say, there's a there's a sticking point where, hmm, you know, maybe this isn't quite the right direction. So, um, but I think us girls, we don't like to quit either, do we? No, we no, definitely not. No, we're, I mean we're pretty. Most of us are pretty resilient, and we'll keep going, mm. keep going, keep going, keep going. And you mm. know, certainly most of the people that are within this group, I would say, have that resilience, and mm. they have that determination and that drive, and they'll keep going, um, and maybe even sometimes too long, because giving up on something is not a failure. It's just merely a lesson and part of the journey that we're supposed mm. to take before we discover what our real path is. And yeah. then when we find that real path, that real path is only for this moment. Yeah. Because that yeah. path can also change. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. and we have to be realistic about that. And that's okay too. That is absolutely okay too. There has to be sort of determination and focus to try and drive you in the right direction. And, you know, certainly for what you're doing, I mean, Solstry is, is such a, it's such a real beautiful heart centered thing to do you know like i yeah. said apart from the practicalities of taking mm -hmm. care of the feet to actually have a foot reading is quite is quite unique i mean i've never come across it before and mm. from your website i was reading that it's a very old ancient art yeah i mean it, it's actually sort of not specific to one particular area it's quite common in india um now nowadays um, but originally from as far back as the as uh, Egypt and, and ancient Egypt. So it's you know there's, there's um, pictures in the tombs of, of people sort of reading reading feet. So yeah, it's remarkable and it is it's nice to be able to so for example, uh, you know this, the uh, peeling skin indicates a, a fresh start with how you feel about, you know certain things so and but yet peeling skin you know we read it with a western eye that oh you've got dry skin you need cream mm. whereas you know it's a transition and um, again leading back to what you said about transitioning yes yeah so what give us one more little snippet that came up in my feet little one so um the slight lean on your big toes mean that you're motivated by helping people you like to help you like to make make sure everybody's all right yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. sometimes to my detriment <laughs> that's it well i wasn't going to mention but one the one side um the the right side so the past is slightly worse so it means you've been over helping in the past and now in the present you're still looking after people but you're more resilient to to being over put on yes that's right word. yeah no, that, that's actually Take right. that advantage of. yes yeah yeah that that's actually right i would i would put myself out to help people and and i would sacrifice myself for that so mm. it could be something very small like i wanted to go some somewhere and because i wanted to ensure that the other person was going to be okay i would change my plans around them and i mm. do that far far less now you know up to really big you know really big important things as well but i definitely do that far less okay mm. so let's actually Let's find out a little bit more about you. You you say here in your website that in 2017, you had a bit of a health scare. Would you be willing to tell us about that? Sure, yeah. Um, so basically, as as with a lot of ladies, um, the, the old endocrine system went a bit haywire um, and my thyroid went overactive, um, which they termed as Graves' disease. Oh, okay. So, um, so basically, a very strange set of symptoms that probably many of many of the ladies in this group will have had as well, um, and hair loss, anxiety, increased appetite, weight loss, that sort of thing, um, and it was just it was just bizarre because I've always been so healthy, I've always exercised. Um, I've always taken care of myself. Sleep, I'm not great at, and certainly not with the kids as well. They, they were all non-sleepers. Um, so, yeah, I think it was... And I think the thing with um, with thyroid condition, with a lot of... Oh! <laughs> with a lot of um, uh, thyroid conditions, ladies fit within normal boundaries, but it's not optimal for their health. So you could go to a doctor and, and your blood test comes out with a normal reading within normal NHS boundaries, but that is not what's right for you. And I think it's, I've learned a lot about my body, how to recognise that I'm getting sim certain symptoms creeping back in. And I think it's really important that us girls take notice of our normal, what's normal for us, which is not normal for anybody else. Mm -mm, mm. Sorry, I went all serious then. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very passionate about that because I think it's 
it's one thing we do miss out on. Look, I think it's important. And, um, you know, hi, Ashley, lovely to see you. I've just seen that um, that you're on on live. Ashley, um, you come on a little bit later. We're doing foot reading um, today. So if you've got any anything that you want to ask about your feet, then do ask the questions. Um, so Geraldine is a podiatrist and a solstry. Solstry? Yeah, solstry. Yeah. 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 Solstry. So, <laughs> no, look, I think I think this is this is a topic that mm. actually should be shared because I'm I'm going to do a live in a few days. Uh, well, no, not now because it's coming up before the weekend, but probably next week. And I'm going to talk about the menopause, which is actually nothing to do with the business element. But I think that the, what I'm trying to establish within the group is that um having a business is not just about owning a business it's about taking everything into our lives into account you know our health our well-being our spirituality um our our nutrition our exercise all of those sorts of things because most of us most of online businesses are about combining it with your lifestyle you know, so so you've got to find ways of working that in. You've got three teenage um, girls. You've got to find a way of working that in to your life, mm. but also at the same time taking care of your needs, doing your yoga, yeah. your exercise and things like that. And you were saying about mm -hmm. recognising what is your normal. So how did you find out what the problem was if if the results from the NHS were within what you say the normal NHS boundaries? So how did you actually find out you had, what did you call it, Graves? Graves disease. Graves disease. So oh. I joined, um, a, as always, a Facebook group. Um, and that was, um, I, it was called um, Under and Over Active Thyroid um, UK. Mm. And um, basically, I just read through what everybody was saying, looked at the symptoms, looked at um, how, how, how people were, were finding out for themselves. And a very simple test was, um, was an iodine patch test. So you can buy 15% uh, Lugol's iodine in a bottle, you can get it on Amazon. You literally just pop a square on your wrist and it was showing that I wasn't, I was, I was, the iodine was disappearing really, really quickly, which means I was deficient in iodine, which means you know, the various, it's not specific, it's not a specific test. Um, but the other thing I, I realised as well was I needed to get the blood test done when I started to feel unwell. If I, if I allowed myself to be booked in in a week's time to fit in with work, and then it was different again. So I'd urge anybody that is getting any sort of hormonal endocrine type symptoms, just go and stick to your guns chain yourself to the receptionist desk till you get a blood test because tomorrow you'll feel different and the blood test result will be different yes yeah and actually i second that because whilst it may not be something like the graves disease or the the um uh, the lack of iodine it could actually be something else one of those things could be menopause for instance yeah. um so that's definitely worth you know investigating so so i think the most important here is that you said it it really changed your life you know mm -hmm. how after you found out what was going on for you how did your life change what did you do um about that what did you take uh, did you take medication um or did you adjust your lifestyle sure a bit of everything to be fair um one of the things was i realized i was incredibly stressed um so i took myself into the journaling spiritual sort of realms where i was i was connecting more i resonate more with sort of um nature and being outside and um just just very simple changes you know sort of like square breathing you know where you do the four seconds in four seconds hold four seconds out four seconds hold and it, it just simple little things like that um dr chatterjee is an amazing resource for me i love what he says and um diet changes now although 
for me, it wouldn't work for too long. I did follow the keto, keto diet. Um, now, I always function better when I'm low carb. I've, mm-hmm. And that's something I've noticed more and more as I've got older. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do think um, the, low, the low carb diet is, is incredibly good for certain, certain women. Uh, again, there's no one size fits all. Um, so I experimented with that. Um, and I met a lovely lady who used to work with my mum and she led me to um, certain supplements, um, which I think we, we might talk about, um, that helped me get off the medication, I believe. I think they helped me get off the medication because it was carbimazole and propranolol and the beta blockers were were not pleasant to be on and the carbimazole, you could feel I was then going underactive so I was then becoming sort of sluggish and Mm. that energy it wasn't unpleasant being hyperactive you know it was like I'm hyper anyway but it was I was productive I was getting up I was cleaning I was doing this and I was um I was exhausted Mm. but I was managing things Mm. and going underactive then and being sort of sloth like I was Mm. that was terrible So I ended up weaning myself off the medication, rightly or wrongly, which I'd never recommend without, you know, guidance. But I felt that was what was right for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I think that's important, an important note to make. And you know, like we're we're all sensible women on here, and so some of us will just do it. Okay, I know Mm -hmm. I'm one of those people that if I feel that something's not right for me, then I'll just find an alternative and I'll work with that. You know, I'll give it a I'll give it a fair go. Um, But as we've as we've brought this topic up, I'd like to ask you what supplements you started to take, because you mentioned um, that you actually have a range of products that um, help with inflammation, getting rid of inflammation. As we know, most diseases are actually originated with inflammation somewhere in the body. So can you talk to us about that? Because I think that this is a really good time to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So. so as a, I came came on board um, as a customer, and the supplements were so simple, literally a five five ingredient product um, for anti-inflammatory uh, action. So um, it was black cumin seed, white chardonnay grape, of course, um, <laughs> red, um, black raspberry, <laughs> black raspberry, uh, D ribose in, in a pomegranate juice, cold pressed, so it wasn't cooked, not processed um there's it was it's just literally packed and sent out to you it's unbelievable um and it was originally formulated to be honest um as a um to aid children recovering from leukemia from chemo um so that proves how gentle it is Mm. um in fact just yesterday i i gave it to a lady and again this is just anecdotal this is not set in stone but she'd been tachycardic with a heart rate of 180 Mm. and she'd she'd been coming down with medication she hadn't taken a medication that day and she could feel it going up um and actually her heart rate was about 98 um i gave her um one of these soul products and she she came down to 75 wow Wow. uh, after about five minutes now again i can't prove anything i'm not a doctor Mm -hmm. but i've heard other reports similar of you know pain in my job plantar fasciitis you know sort of the the pain under the heel Mm -hmm. and just rubbing it on the sore spot can can decrease that so but yeah it's an amazing i've got a friend who actually has that problem i'm not going to try and even pronounce it um <laughs> what did you call it planty plant, plant of, it's actually plantar fasciopathy they've re regraded it now planty fasciopathy okay plant so i know i've only ever heard of that word once before with my friend eileen if you're watching go and talk to geraldine <laughs> <laughs> Bless. 
All right, All right. So I'll get I'll connect you to I'll definitely connect you to now it's it's worth perhaps investigating so what we'll do is we'll actually put um, all of the links so that you can get in touch with Geraldine there is no commitment to anybody the nope. point of this group is to have a connection and a conversation and if that conversation doesn't go anywhere other than you've actually found a really good friend then that's what it's always worth it it's great now if it ends up that you do use some of these products and that they're beneficial for you then why not you know it, it's just you know it's silly it's silly not to try something especially especially if you are in a state of desperation <laughs> <laughs> all right so let me let me ask you this question um you know you've how long have you been in the online space because i know you've got your clinic as well how long have you actually been in the online space? Uh, what well, personally or just business wise? Business wise. Business wise, um, I was a bit scaredy cat, so I would say about about four years, and I've I not really done much with it. I've not really put myself out there. Right. Okay. Well, that's good. That's why you're in the group and you'll, exactly. you'll actually learn as you're in the group. I'm going to be <laughs> teaching a lot more as well. So being in the online space for the last four years, have you come across anybody that you admire, that you follow? Who, do you, mm -hmm. who would you say that you follow and take inspiration from? Um, apart from yourself. Oh. Um, <laughs> definitely. Unbelievable. Just as if by magic you're there um so yeah um let's have a think from business wise um more a spiritual side of things um denise martinez rossini um she's sort of the spiritual queens mm -hmm. and um from a business perspective from my business perspective um Amanda Daly, um, she's a health coach. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I'm trying to think. I think that's there's lots of there's lots of people, but they're the two the two main hmm. you know people that yeah. I yeah. Okay. Now I also noticed that you have your own group, um, and mm -hmm. it looks like it's more for health professionals. So I'm guessing that you can help health professionals in your group as well. Well, it's really for um, it's really for any ladies um, who are wanting to exchange health ideas, um, have ideas about. Um, basically my, my original plan was soul renaissance which what came out of the the thyroid condition and this was for ladies who've maybe lost the way a little bit they've they've lost themselves they brought bringing kids up brought kids up um maybe underlying health conditions and it's just a space to be you um i'm everybody's mate and this is it's just a place where you can come and sound off you can feel safe you can talk about the menopause you can talk about periods you can talk about annoying teenagers and we try and find between us some sort of health emotional wellness solution um and the idea is that i i've got um a, a catalogue of pretty cracking health professionals and um strong women that i come in to to to, to talk uh, in the group excellent so. excellent so so there's quite a lot of health professionals in this group as well so yes. if you are one of those health professionals we've got a lot of energy healers um we've got a lot of uh, personal development people as well that also come from a very spiritual background yeah. um you know being me being one of them with all my tats you know all spiritually related i don't know if you can see it very well there you go <laughs> oh i love that yeah that that one there uh, so it's upside down for you hang on let me see oh that, that's stunning that one there is um ganesha but it's upside down for you guys but it's good it's the om sign here and yeah. then it's a representation of ganesha lord ganesh Beautiful. yeah and then we've got the heart chakra there love it 
<laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Love it. Yeah. So let me ask you this uh, question next is um, name a book you would recommend to our ladies. It can be any book. It could be fiction or nonfiction. Oh, and then what's your favourite book? Oh, right. So at the moment, because I, I do read quite a lot, it's the Hedgerow Apothecary. Oh, OK. <laughs> OK. So that's so I, I tend to go between reference and and novels. But at the moment, that's my favourite one. It's quite useful because over lockdown, I did um, a foraging course, mm -hmm. which was ace, really interesting. So. Yeah, I can, yes. I, I can highly recommend that if you like going and picking things out of the wild, being oh. very careful, of course, disclaimer. Yeah. Of course, of course. <laughs> Try and avoid the magic mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> All right, so what I want to know, um, we've, we've, we're just running over time and I'm quite happy for that Sorry. because you're a pleasure to speak to. I want to, I want to really know what your why is. Why do you do what you do? I often ask myself, and I think it does change, um, but ultimately my why is is my girls. Um, we have such um, a strange upbringing nowadays with social media and um, th this crazy, crazy time that we're living in, and I just want them to see that they – they can be okay yeah. things aren't always okay they have to know that things aren't always okay but they can be okay and if you work hard and you're a good person mm. you will be all right and that's my why i love mm. i love my girls and one day one, one day they'll realize that ah oh, they <laughs> will just one day they'll, they'll appreciate you for that um, i'm just going to say hello to anchor lovely to see you here um and it would be it would be absolutely wonderful if you haven't already connected um with anchor anchor has a group that's all about financial um financial freedom financial security so so that's actually a good group um to go and follow um because of course you're absolutely right about your girls i mean you said that they're teenage uh 13 and 11 i think you said mm -hmm. yeah um today has to be the strangest time that we are bringing up children um you know ranging from obviously very little tots to to this this age where they're very impressionable and they're trying to discover themselves and they've got hormones going off and everything else so i'm absolutely certain it must be a very difficult time for them and something that you have to manage very sensitively and and carefully and i think that with with everything that you've that you've kind of grabbed hold of with your spiritual side, uh, with the foot readings, looking looking at us as human beings in a more sort of centered, soulful way. Um, yeah. That you know, with a mum like you, that's got to help these girls. You know, because I, I can kind of tell it just even talking to you that you're like non traditional as well. You're someone that that yeah. wants to, wants to strive for having that that financial freedom that yeah. opportunity to own something of your own rather than being reliant on the systems as it were definitely yeah i think it's very important for you to to be able to look after yourself in every way yeah yeah definitely definitely mm -hmm. and it is it's a it's a complete rounded holistic approach isn't it most definitely mm -hmm. and that that's why i want to talk about health as well in the group and we will be talking about that most definitely and you know i can always bring you on for another um mm -hmm. another kind of chat session um and also get involved in the networking when i set that up because that'll be an opportunity for you to kind of meet people all around the world so I'm going to ask you another question here. What are you most grateful for? Oh, wow. I don't know where to start with that one. Um, right here, it, and again, that's different every day. Right here, right now, I'm incredibly grateful for being able to talk to you because I've, I've just loved it. And I was so nervous, and it's been just a joy. So thank you. <laughs> 
Oh, you are more than welcome. It's absolutely my pleasure. And I'm just as grateful as well because I love doing these. And uh, the funny thing is I've had a very odd day today because I jarred my back. Um, oh. Yeah, I jarred my back yesterday. So I've had a, I've had a very restful day. Um, one of the things that I never, ever used to do was to stop. If there was something wrong with me, I just charged on, carried on through. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm very fortunate to have a really beautiful partner who says to me, no, nope, just stop. The world's going to survive without you. <laughs> just, just rest and relax. Um, so, so yeah, and and I actually, I think that gratitude is always something that's in the moment. Um, mm. You know, we can we can be grateful for the sort of bigger, most obvious things, but gratitude yeah. always has to be in the moment. And I think that if we if we treat life like that, literally going from one moment to another, we yeah. we have like a we can have a plan, as it were, mm -hmm. but I, as I was saying before, never be frightened of going off that plan. It, it's absolutely fine. Um, but to be grateful for the moment that we're in now, even if it is something really, really small, like just even a glass of water, you, do you know, you know, and I, and I think that what that does is on a spiritual level, it really, it, it goes right into the soul. It actually teaches, teaches mm -hmm. your mind because it because the body already knows your yeah. knowing knows it's already there it's just mm -hmm. that we have been so we have been in this very constructed world and particularly now with a lot of the negativity that goes on mm -hmm. we have to protect ourselves more and one of those ways of protecting ourselves my belief is that we show gratitude we yeah, really show definitely. gratitude yeah and, and and it slows you down it forces you to stop and think and I think one of the problems is that we're all so fast paced, everything, you know, and especially again, us ladies, we've got to do everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's just slow down is, is cool. I love so, that. Well, when, when you get to my age, Geraldine, you've learned how to slow down a bit more. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you look amazing. I still can't believe that. It's the okay. same. <laughs> no, oh, I've got some good lighting going on as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to ask you one more question and then we'll sign off for the night. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. But I was asked this question the other day. I was being interviewed and I have to put the interview into the group. I was interviewed by a lovely lady called Carolyn Williams and she mm. asked me a really lovely question. And that was, where is Geraldine's happy place? Oh, I'm going to cry, aren't I? You're going to make me cry. Um, <laughs> bless. Um, oh, my happy place is... I'm going to say it's a nearby country park. It's an old house. It was used in the filming of Wuthering Heights and Gentleman Jack, and it's a place called Oakwell Hall, and... It's just beautiful and the kids have gone there since they were tots and it's just got so many happy memories. So that's my happy place. Taking it all in. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So mm -hmm. I think I seem to remember, did I see a picture of you sitting somewhere with your journal? Would that have been that place? I think it was, if that's the, it yeah. It was you, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Probably oh. with my shoes off as well. Oh. Not a very good effort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's lovely. So um, let's just check to see what we've got here. So, so, so lovely to see you, ladies, on Ashley, Sass, Anka. Uh, oh. Yeah, she. Okay, so so Anka is actually saying that she loves your banner. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my little, that's going to be my tattoo when I get brave enough. That's my little twist girl. That's, I love it. That's I, my tattoo when I'm... <laughs> I love it. And remember, Geraldine, you've got to live in the moment, so go and get it done sooner rather than later. On it. On, On it. it. Good. Definitely. I want to see it. I want to see it. Okay, so so Anka says here there's something happening as my body was, was like rest, relax. Hope you feel better soon. Oh, so that must be about my back when I mentioned back, my back yeah. there. 
And it is absolutely right. We have to take notice. We have to take care of our bodies and we have to rest when we need to. And I actually stayed off of social media all day today um, in terms of working. I, I did do some scrolling through and I watched actually um, some things on TV earlier. Well, not TV, films, you know. Um, and uh, oh, thank you, Anchor. Grateful for you organising this. You must, you must put yourself forward for this one. I think I've got you, have I, Anchor? I think I have. Anyway, put yourself forward for it. But for now, I want to finish off by saying it's been an absolute pleasure, Geraldine. Thank you for coming on today and telling everybody about their feet and soul resonance and soul street. It's been real pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> you are welcome. And now, just to finish off, what is the best way of people getting in touch with you, please? Um, probably just uh, DM, DM me on Facebook, on Messenger. Okay. So they can get in touch with you um, for a foot reading? Yeah, definitely. Either on my personal or, or business page is fine. Okay. And I do highly recommend having the foot reading. If you weren't on earlier on, we did a little bit of a reading of my feet there and abs everything was absolutely spot on. Um, and then the other thing, of course, is if, if you are suffering from anything that um, you may think is due to inflammation um, or actually anything about your health, just have a chat. Have a chat with Geraldine and um, she may or may not be able to help you. But you will never know until you have that conversation. And that's what it's all about is having conversations. It is. <laughs> all right. So I'll say goodbye now and bye, everybody. Remember to, um, to like, love and share. Give us um, some love. And uh, you'll see me in here tomorrow celebrating our 500 people in the group. So thanks very much. I'm Sunny Love. And this has been a session with Sunny Love. So I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>